Hi, and while we're waiting for the crossword video to upload today uh, to YouTube, I thought we'd take a look at the super fiendish Sudoku and uh, see what this is like. So without further ado, let's have a look. Um, okay, so as usual we're going to make notation like this. So if we see places where a number can only appear in one of two positions in a three by three box, then we'll fill that number in. We've got a good start there. We found the twos relatively quickly. These three has got to be here or here. That's as far as we're going to get with the threes by the looks of it. Let's try the sixes. In fact, that has to be a six. a certain amount of luck I always think at the start of um, a puzzle like this you know in terms of where you actually which number you start with and um, you know whether you get lucky that that number actually turns out to be the one that propagates through the grid uh, sevens. I'm looking at this central box and trying to it's going to get an 8 here, which is nice. This is going to be an 8 in one of these two positions. Like that. Ah, oh, and that fixes this 8. Which means there's an 8 up here. Certainly at the moment this doesn't feel super fiendish, which normally means it's got a real kick in the tail and there'll be a, an X-wing or something at the end that we'll need to, to spot. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So... Seven, six, two, five, seven. One here. See that we need we need one and nine in these two positions, but my method of notation doesn't allow me to mark that in, which is a. Uh, it's probably the only downside of um, the so-called Thomas Snyder notation, which is the rotation that we're using here. That's, that's got to be a 6, that's going to help here, that's going to be a 6, that's going to be a 1. Locks a 1 into one of these two positions. And forces this to be a 6. Just one down here. And 3, 4 here, there's not many only fours in the grid full stop, I don't think. Ah, although that's helpful, look. That's going to force a four into one of these two positions, which now means that the nine has to be up here, which means there's a nine here. Sorry if I'm not giving too much explanation as I'm going along. I'm trying to solve as fluently as possible. Now you can see here that this one is locking the one in this box into one of these three cells and because there's a one here and here that means the one has to appear in one of these two positions on this side. We should certainly note that, I'm not sure whether it's going to give us enough traction yet. Alright, so we've got two seven to place up here and we can't see how to do that, which is a shame. Oh yes we can. Oh, that's not two seven, it's four seven. One up here. Not strict notation that, but it just it just helps me to spot what's going on there. So seven. Ah now this there you go, so that's locked that one up that we spotted earlier as being a, a potential fault of this notation. That's nice now, that's going to lock this one in. This can only be a three, this can only be a four. Four here. One there. Okay, so nearly there, I think. We just have to 
tidy up the last bits. We've got six, eight, nine along here somehow. You can see, I think, immediately that there's only one position the eight can go. Which means this is an eight. And there's the, there's the advantage of this notation because it allowed you to make allowed me to fill in several numbers very, very quickly without actually having to rethink um, the work that I'd already done earlier on. And now you just have to make, make sure that you, um, you use those numbers that we've just, just filled in in a flurry. And don't forget to very easy to just miss out on one logical step that that's given you. So that forces a four over here. So we need to put one three nine in here. And there's a three at the bottom there. That's going to force the three here, a nine here, a one here, one here, four here. Well, this has to be a three. That tidies up this top section. Three and a four. I'm just doing this long hand now so that I don't make a silly error at the end. Oh goodness! Yeah, I nearly, nearly did there. So, what have we got to fill in here then? One and four. So, well, this has to be a one. That's a one, that's a four. Uh, and now what have we got? Three, four, nine to place. And there we go.